As you guys can see, this is another example. I did pull a secret rare in the other box, it wasn't the best secret rare, but there you go, well, there you go. there you go, no secret rare. And we're back with Future Flash in Korean. This just came out in South Korea, November 30th, so about a month after the Japanese release, which is October 27th, 2023. If you missed my Ancient Roar opening in Korean, I did just release that as well, so be sure to check that out if you're a fan of the Ancient Paradox Pokemon. And as always... Yep, the SR is not guaranteed. You guys should definitely know this by now. Five cards per pack. Just like the Japanese version, no card trick. SR is not guaranteed. Please remember that, especially you box breakers that do not like to indicate the differences between the two. But yes, there is no guaranteed hollow, no guaranteed SR, no guaranteed anything. What is guaranteed are three beautiful art rares, at least one to two tarot cards. Someone did ask that question. That's a very good question. Sometimes I've seen one, sometimes I've seen two. I'm not too sure how often that comes up, but there is a lot of beautiful cards to be seen, especially this Iron Jukula, so very cool to see the feature cards. I do love that little accent on the side. Same thing with the ancient Pokemon cards. And I'm very happy too that the professors are getting a lot of love in this set, um, especially also with Ancient Roar. Professor Sada and Professor Turo, they get a regular full art and also a special art rare. Super cool. And then of course we have the original base set, um, Scarlet and Violet art, sorry, full art. So the professors get a lot of love this time around. But if we do land that SR, I'll be super happy, whatever it is, because it's better than no SR at all. And we have our first EX mouse hold. This is very cute. It's a very adorable name that they implemented with this. It's a whole household of mice mouse hold. Very cleverly done. And I do love the pack art as well. We have our cyborg looking Pokemon. Who's your favorite actually? Iron Valiant, of course, is a lot of people's favorites. We also have Iron Bundle, which takes after Delibird, and also Iron Moth, which takes after Volcarona. Very, a little sad they didn't put Iron Thorns in this one, maybe for a feature set, but there is an Iron Thorns feature in the Iron Valiant special art, which I did luckily pull in Japanese. So very happy about that. But um, I mean, we of course are getting shiny treasures uh, this month in December, but I don't think there's any Paradox Pokemon in it, so it's okay though. We have Milotic Holographic, very nice. Again, hollows aren't guaranteed. For those who love to ask me about the advertisements, I will just repeat it in case you didn't catch my Ancient Roar opening. The advertisements, sometimes they're seated in the first uh, print run or just maybe later. This I don't see that anymore because this is, of course, the first print run. I did just buy this as soon as I came out in South Korea, but obviously there's no advertisements in this. Sometimes they feature, you know, the recent set, upcoming sets, something releasing at the same time, maybe a deck, maybe an anime. Um, video games, etc. So just keep that in mind if you don't have advertisements, do not panic. Very beautiful artwork by, uh, let's see here, it looked like Komiya for a second. It's actually not Tetsu Koyama. Very nice. Almost looked like a Komiya artwork, but this is Dotler. I love the sunset in the background. So let's go ahead and sleeve up that art rare. Again, one out of three. Let's actually take it from the other side this time. I'm going to switch it up. Let's take it from the bottom of the left side. There's no team left or team right with this. I like to do that in the past because, of course, it's just one row. All right, so we have Toxel there, Zipstrika, up oh, Professor Toros, I think Scenario, it's a little different now. Looks a little bit more sus there than in the shadows, especially how the storyline turns out in the games. I was actually quite surprised to see who the villain was, so if you haven't played it, I recommend playing all the way through, because it's actually a great storyline in my opinion. Iron Bundle, a little broom there. Now let's go back on the right side, let's see if we get anything good here. And hopefully get a nice tarot card as well. I love how the tarot cards are nicely textured. Of course, the sparkle will come out a lot more in the Japanese version than the Korean version, but I definitely like the Korean quality more than the English version. Very nice Steelix artwork, by the way, there. What? <laughs> All right, let's keep going here. And I'd love to see more of the artwork. Like, I just keep opening these sets. The nice thing is that you're most likely just going to pull different artworks each time because the set is big. But at the same time, too, this is an interesting discussion to have as well. Like, if you guys have noticed since, like, Sword and Shield era, I'd say, I guess, since, like, I don't know, Starbirth or even after Starbirth, wh whichever st sets started implementing the CHRs after VMAX Climax, we've just been so spoiled with, like, higher pull rates that now Shiny Treasures EX, the pull rates are very similar to that of Shiny Star V. A very nice Altaria EX, still got that lovely sparkle, better than the English version, in my opinion. But, um... Yeah, the pull rates of Shiny Star V are almost very similar to that of Sh uh, Shiny Treasure EX, but now it just feels like very lackluster 
nowadays because we got so used to the increased pull rates because back in the day you know like sun and moon era you just get like three gx cards and possibly a secret rare if you're lucky sometimes your booster box would just be three gx's which you know you will feel disappointing especially um, booster boxes in korean from that era are very expensive and unobtainable now so you're really going to feel that difference there we have blitzel mill tank by salsa very nice gore guys oh and we have rourke throwback from uh, diamond and pearl Sinnoh region i believe it's cool how we bring back random trainers let's pull one from the left side now randomly straight from the middle see if we get lucky and pull our sr early if we get it of course toxel by yukimori love the claymation art tandem mouse oh very nice we got toxtricity also known as trinda both in korean and also japanese i do like the name it's a fighting type as a terror type usually it's poison and electric so very nice toxtricity strinda and i think we have a shiny version as well baby shiny in um, shiny treasure so that's really cool to see the, the color difference is very slight a lot of people have been making a lot of memes lately about how a lot of popular pokemon have very lackluster shinies not all of them of course some are really good like shiny charizard shiny rayquaza but shiny like gengar or garchomp it's like they just change the shade by like a few notches and it's like that's it Meanwhile, shiny Psyduck is like blue and it's super cool compared to the original. So, you know, I wonder who chooses the uh, outcome of what shiny Pokemon will be. Apom, very nice. I love the Yukimori art rares. They're very, um, you know, realistic. And I love the background settings that she puts the uh, claymation in. So it's really cool. So second art rare right there. Let's pull one randomly over here. You know, just to go out of order. Some people like to predict how these boxes are going to be. I don't agree with it. I've seen so many different pull rates from different sets all the time. Let's keep going here. Oh, wow, look at that. We got lucky and pulled our third art where we have Toad Scroll. Looks like Tentacruel, but the colors on this are actually very well done. You know why? It's by Kechiro Ito, one of my favorite artists. In terms of how they execute the coloring, the vibrancy always pops. It's the same artist as the Moonbrion, the um, Umbreon VMAX Hyper Rare Alt Art. Also of other um, really brightly colored cards like Iron Treads, SAR from Violet EX. I just remember a lot of the color schemes. They do the blue sky so well. Um, and I think there's no exception either with the Umbreon as well. So let's keep going. No SR, but we got our three art rares. See, that's the nice thing about these recent sets. Even though you don't get the SR that you want, you'll at least get some beautiful artworks from the art rares. Shinji Kanda Blitzel, very nice. And we have something here, Aegislash. I've seen lots of Aegislash. So you guys notice too, like when we move into the new era, they still bring back the previous generation. That's of course from the Gala region. But I just noticed when Pokemon move to the next region, they still feature a lot of Pokemon from the previous generation. Because in Scarlet and Violet, I've definitely noticed a lot of Galar Pokemon like Toxel, Toxtricity, etc. We even have one in this very set. So interesting to see that Tulip, she has a beautiful full art and a special art rare by Akira Egowa. I think she's doing um, dangerous makeup. So that's a very cleverly done artwork because of course Tulip is a absolute diva. She's beautiful with her, you know, makeup styles, etc. And we have just a few packs up. The pressure is on, guys. I'm just choosing packs at random here. Hopefully we'll just luckily pull the SR or SAR or UR. It could be one of those things. But again, not guaranteed, but that's what makes it feel very special because of how much lower chance of you of, of pulling it. We have Wochi in there, I think by Koki Saito. That's really cool. So Koki Saito did the um, ruinous treasures, or at least some of them. I don't know if he did all of them, but we definitely got one there. And I did pull Tinglu from uh, Ancient Roar. We have Onyx, Vanillux. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like this hollow style with Iron Moth. You have the whole like feature vibe here, but also against the red, it actually conch. I was about to sleeve that one <laughs> because of how nice it looked. <laughs> My bad. All right, just a few more packs left. Okay, I do love this pack card, by the way. Ooh, I feel like I'm pulling all the good packs because every time I open something at random, I'm definitely getting something good. Pumpkaboo, oh, very nice. Oh, that's going to be a good one, isn't it? Yes, okay, this is the one I wanted. Iron Valiant EX. It's not the special art, but it's the regular one from the set. But check out that beautiful hollow foil. It contrasts really nicely with the future, you know, theme over here. Very nice. I like how Pokemon implemented that theme very, very well. Okay, and we're on to the next last four packs. Oh my gosh, guys, are we going to get that secret here? But, you know, end of the day, if I don't pull it, at least I can prove to you guys once again, on top of my other videos, that the SR is not guaranteed. You can keep telling me that you all your boxes have secret rares. Oh, look, Tulip's there too with Espathro. But I've had so many boxes, especially 
especially from the Sun and Moon era, where there was just no pulls, very disappointing, but at the same time, educational for you guys. So it's not a complete loss, is it? Okay, a surskit there is a striker. Wow, guys, we got super lucky. I was just talking about this card as well. We got the Tulip special artwork. It's not every day, guys, they pull a special artwork. Also featuring Dendra on the side, so that's pretty cool. And this is number 91, 91 out of 66, so that's definitely the secret rare. Wow, guys, hit that like button. That was a very good pull. Not every day you pull good cards like that. And SARs like that will be even more special because the SR is not guaranteed. Please remember that, especially you box breakers or anyone who's just getting into Korean Pokemon cards. Komiya Spotlight, <laughs> to Toad School, Power Boost for future Pokemon, and Tinkaton. A lot of people love Tinkaton, the bird killer. She goes after all the Corviknight, and it's really amusing. And the little baby version, Tink Tinka. Tick a tink. <laughs> it's really cute. Oracorio by Sorota. And last pull, the water monkey. Simi poor. That was a great opening, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, please check out my trainer card, which I've made from scratch over the course of four months. If you'd like your own copy, please message me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next video.